What do we have here? The new Linea Mini by La Marzocco. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. Let's get into the features of this machine. This is the brand new kit on the block that's actually uh, for high-end household or it's NSF rated so you could actually use it in a small cafe, gallery, something like that where you want to have smaller volume. This is not built for the big volume. If you want that, go up to the full size linea, not the mini. Get one, two, and three groups. That's what you want. So this machine um, is a double boiler and we'll show you the inside later just so you can get kind of a peek of what's going on in there. Paddle machine with a two second pre-infusion that's built into it from the factory. 58 millimeter full-size portafilter made out of stainless steel. And why stainless steel? Because if you pop the basket out on your chrome-plated brass ones, you'll notice that down in the bottom you get a lot of residual coffee and stuff. You got to keep that clean. It tastes it a little bit. It tastes your shot just a little bit. Stainless steel stays very clean much longer. You just take a rag and wipe it out and you're a done deal. Steam arm over here, it's a four hole steam tip, it has a lot of power, I played with it the other day. Hot water comes out of here, two gauges, one tells you what's going on inside the boiler, the other one tells you the uh, back pressure on the, uh, as you're brewing on the brew head, or on the, yeah, and the brew head, in the basket of your portafilter. Over here, this has a, uh, what they call a PID control and what it does is it changes the temperature at the brew head and if you go all the way down it's 185 and if you go all the way up 220 so you get to play with it it's not a true what I would call uh, a PID like most people think of it I'll take it back to 203 where it was um, it's not digital so you might have to play with it a little bit more you're not gonna have that readout like you would 3.5 liter water tank right back under the drip tray here and this is kind of nice it's closed in so no junk gets in there but you I can I haven't tried it but it looks like you can just pop that lid off for cleaning right back in there and see that's our water sensor it's actually disabled the boiler and it knows there's no water when I push this back in there we go takes a second this is the drip tray. This thing is pretty big. You know, unlike most drip trays, they're smaller than that. This is a big one. Stainless steel gray down there, quite nice. And on the bottom here, if you'll notice, those are magnets. It holds the drip tray into the rails, which this is steel, this is a magnet. They're gonna grasp onto each other, just like that. So it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna vibrate either. Casing comes in um, polished stainless like you're seeing here, black or white. So it's available in those three colors. Uh, what else? Let's lift the lid and look inside under the hood. This is the grate that comes right out. Now we took the screws out. There are screws that hold this all in. So Look at the workings on the inside of this. Huge boiler, 3.5 liter boiler. Uh, it's just a well-built machine, nice copper tubing, your three-way solenoid valves. I am kind of assuming there's electronics under there. The other thing it has is a uh, thermostability system, which means there's hot water running through everything to keep the temperatures stable. This machine, I don't know if I already mentioned it, cannot be plumbed in. Not to be confused with the European version. If you go on La Marzocco's webpage and you get on there and you see one that says global, that is the European page for this machine. The stats are different. You can plumb that one. You cannot plumb this one, and the stats are a little bit different. So <coughs> make sure you get on the La Marzocco US if you're looking up any kind of information for this machine. You know, it's not huge for a home. I think it's a nice platform. It looks really nice. What are we gonna do next? see how she works. Let's pause for a second, get some milk, get some coffee, make some shots. Okay, got our ground coffee, tamped it. And let me just blow off any... Jeez Louise, it's a facial. You can see this is going to be powerful. Let's get the cup ready. You can brew and steam at the same time since it's a double boiler. Uh, it doesn't mean I will be good at that, but...
Anybody taking bets on latte art? Right. You're right. I'm not going to do very well. Maybe. But then again, I might fool you. That steamed really fast. It actually looks pretty good, too. Well, let's stop this. We're probably well overdue on that. Ooh, nice. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Same thing every time, just about. An undernourished Rosetta. Anyway, let's taste it. That's really what counts, right? I say that every time, though. Mmm. It's very nice. Very rich and creamy. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Really good. Yeah, that come out nice. So that's the La Marzocco um, Linea Mini. Have any questions? Uh, by all means, you know where to find us. Give us a call. Phone number is listed on the web page. Um, the other way you can present questions to us in the links down below, you know, right, 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 right down there. And also, we always have good videos every day. I say that because I'm in a lot of them, and I guess I'm just a pat myself on the back. But subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Hope that you enjoy what we're doing. Let us know and subscribe. Click right there. Thanks a lot for watching.